Oh, once again, it's on. Back at you one more again, Real Kens TV and the House Light Kitchen Sinks. Hopefully you like the video. Feel free to uh, comment. Definitely uh, share the video. Subscribe to the Chiz channel if you haven't already subscribed. And hit that post notification. So anytime I bring you this heat and this action, guess what? You're amongst the first to receive it. Now, with no further ado, let's get into this morning's video, if you will. You know, last night I made a video about Jay Williams, Let's Live Life. And basically, it was an overview, a rundown of the things that was probably going to go on when he went to court for a bond reduction or a bond uh, hearing, actually. And, um, you know, I was watching his buddy uh, Woody, I believe. I was watching uh, his video that he posted, an update. And good news, you know, he was granted bond in one county. Now he has to go back in a week or so, according to Woody, and go before another judge in another county uh, seeking a bond. That's great news. That's great news for Jay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for his family. I'm happy for you all, the fans, the subscribers, myself. I'm happy. I'm a subscriber. You know what I mean? Um, nine times out of ten, he's going to get that bond because the judge will see that another county granted him bond. So that judge most likely is going to grant him bond. You know what I mean? Now, let's just say the judge had to deny him. Then most likely this judge would deny it as well. So it's looking, it's looking really good for Jay as far as him coming home and being able to uh, fight the case from the streets. It's always better to be able to fight a case from the streets because you can kind of drag it out. You know, you can you know, have your lawyer kind of stretch it out. Um, and also it gives you a time to get your affairs in order, you know, because Jay said it out of his mouth that he's going to end up having to do some time for the fleet and evading. So he understands that. So he get out on bond. You may fight the case for about a year, you know, get everything in order for, you know, his family and, and make sure things are, you know, just in case he doesn't get probation again, I don't know all the Virginia laws. Um, you know, hopefully he'll have an opportunity to get probation to where he won't have to leave his family for an extended amount of time. Um, definitely praying for the brother. Um, but I was glad to hear that, that a judge did grant him a bond. Um, so like I said, you know, nine times out of 10, he'll be granted another bond, you know, in, in the, uh, of the county jurisdiction, what have you. And he'll be able to come home, hopefully to his family and, you know, start to rebuild, maybe, you know, jump in some counseling classes and just try to get back to, to his original self. Again, I don't know Jay. I've never met Jay. You know, my thing is this Jay Williams is the reason that I have my YouTube channel right now, along with the uh, big hurt, 916 you know if you are not familiar with him man he's another uh youtuber talks about prison you know he has a big hurt 916 that's his personal channel and he also has the fresh out series where he talks about prison and you know things of that nature so those two guys are really the reason that i started my youtube channel but jay williams he pushed me over the top if you will i was watching him one day and he was talking about how when he first started his channel, he didn't have a whole lot of subscribers. Obviously, you know, no one does when you first start. He was saying that maybe he had roughly about 500 subscribers and he put two videos out and boom, just like overnight, just blew up, you know. And I got to thinking, I'm like, heck, why not me? You know, my teachers have always told me that I was articulate you know, that I, you know, I, I could write really well when I was in school, you know. Um, so, you know, it's something that, you know, I don't mind doing. So, nevertheless, man, I had always thought about it. But when I watched Jay Williams, and I always enjoyed watching him anyway, I said, you know what? I can do the exact same thing. And here you have it. You know, I, I started my uh, channel maybe five months ago. And 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still here going strong, you know, and it's not necessarily about subscribers and views and things of that nature. I mean, I like them, obviously, but, you know, it's just something that I enjoy doing. It's like a therapy for me. Um, so Jay Williams, like I said, I definitely want to salute him, give big ups, props to Jay Williams, you know, because he's inspired a lot of people. I read all the comments and so many people are inspired by Jay Williams. You know, right now, to try to put you uh, uh, in his mind, if you will, or his headspace. Think about going to jail. It's like a, it's like a shock, you shell shock when you first go in, especially for somebody like Jay, myself, because he hasn't been incarcerated, to my knowledge, for nine years. So in nine years, you come home, you know, you you with your family. You're eating good. You're working every day. You can exercise. You can go to the mall or spend time with your kids and spend time with your friends. Just do whatever because you're not confined to a jail cell at ball and chain. You know what I mean? So to go from that and Jay apparently was living very well, <laughs> you know, have his own construction business and to have, you know, close to 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. You live in very, very, very well. You know, I don't know the man's pockets, not trying to count his pockets, you know, but I would guess me being a YouTuber and knowing, you know, certain things, I would guess without exaggerating, I don't want to exaggerate 40 to 60,000 a month easily, easily just from YouTube, easily. So it's just one of those things to where you go from that to a jail cell. So that leads me into the video that he made the other night. I think it was three or four nights ago. Now, a lot of people, they looked at that video and they seen a very, very angry Jay Williams. A very angry Jay Williams that they never necessarily seen prior to this. And let me say this, um, this is going to be one of those videos, it's, it's going to be longer than normal. So this is one of those videos where if you just, you're laying there and, you, and you're, you know, you're trying to go to sleep and you need something, you know, uh, lengthy to listen to or you're on the road or just whatever the, the case may be, it's going to be a, a longer than normal video. But hey, it's about the great Jay Williams, let's live life. Yeah, you know I mean, so, you know, when when getting back to what I was saying. He's in a different environment now, and as I stated previously in my other video, I wish that he hadn't have done that interview. And if he was going to do the interview, I just kind of wish he didn't say the things that he that he said. But, you know, what's done is done. And, um, you know, obviously. Um, well, evidently, rather, you know, it didn't harm him too bad because, you know, he was granted bond in one uh, county and I'm sure that the other county is going to follow. But the reason being in that situation, I understand his anger. I understand his his frustration, because guess what? First of all, he's mad at himself. He's mad at whoever went and filed the complaint. He's mad at the system. He's 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 just mad at everybody. He's just mad. And that's very, very common. Because now he's in a different environment. He's not the the friendly, friendly Jay Williams that you see in the videos. Oh, he's still there, but he's in a different environment now. Because being incarcerated. They don't give a darn about him being Jay Williams. They don't care anything about that. So now he's having to watch his back. He's having to, you know, he he's having to get back into that jail mode. There's a, a different mode that you have to be in in jail. Jail's not a nice place. You know, somebody has split your wig well, I typically don't say split your wig on my channel. I say uh, push your noodle all the way backwards. Just for no reason. 
So you've seen that anger and that aggression in him that we've never seen. Now, his friends have probably seen it. People close to him have probably seen it. But we've never seen that side of Jay. But I would say don't judge him for it. Because when you're incarcerated, you're not the friendliest person and the easiest person to get along with. The food is nasty. They talk to you crazy. They disrespect you. It's loud. You can see that it was loud in the interview. There's no respect in jail. You got to wear that silly jumpsuit that I've been in many a times. You missing your kids. You regretting what you did. You're, you're killing yourself inside. Not literally, but figuratively, if you will. You're rehashing everything that you did. And you, you're wishing that you could just pinch yourself and just wake up. It, it, it's, it's like a, a nightmare that's never ending. Until you're not in there anymore. So I don't want anybody to pass judgment on him. Because of his anger that he had the other night. It's just a difficult situation from for him. Now with that being said. With that being said. He caused the situation. I'm going to call a spade a spade. I'm not talking bad about him, but I'm just saying I, I got to keep it real. Real Ken's TV, I got to keep it real. He caused the situation. So sometimes when you're in jail, it's good to have to sit down for a little bit. It's good to have a, a, a moment to reflect, to see where you went wrong, why you went wrong, how are you going to fix it, and how are you going to avoid going down the same path once again, because, see, the thing about when you're incarcerated, everybody immediately wants to come home. Nobody wants to be in that hellhole. But if you don't fix yourself and understand what got you there, then you're just going to be right back in that situation. The guy was home for nine years. So, therefore, he definitely knows. He definitely knows what it takes to stay out, to be a productive member of society. He definitely knows. Now, I'm not going to speak too much because it is an open case, but I'm not saying anything that the prosecution doesn't already figure. I'm not saying anything that most people, especially the people that have dealt with the criminal system, don't know already. So I'm going to say it, and if you know, you know. If you don't know, ask someone that's been in jail or in, in the system. You know, allow them to look at the video, and they'll be able to tell you exactly what I'm speaking of. Jay Williams had to run from those police. There was no other way. He had to. Understand it. He had to run from those police. I'm not encouraging anyone to run from the police, especially in a vehicle. I'm not condoning that type of behavior. But there comes a time in life you got to make a business decision. You got to make an executive decision. If you know, you know. Understand what I'm saying. A lot of you do, but I know some of you don't. If I stay here and if I, if I pull over, might get 20 right here. Might get 20 years, man. If I pull over, I might get 20. But I'm in a charger. I believe he said he's in a charger. I'm in a charger. If I can somehow shake him for just a second, they're going to catch me eventually. But if I can shake him just a second. That 20 may turn into two and a half, maybe three or four years. Get my drift. I can't pull over right here. As much as I want to do the right thing, as much as I, I cannot pull, I can't afford it. If I pull over right here when these people are behind me, I know I'm going to get 10 to 20. Feds may pick my case up. So I got to do what I got to do. 
Okay, cool. Y'all got me. It ain't cool, but I'm saying y'all got me on the running from the police, uh, evading, fleeing and evading. It's way less than what you all would have got me with had I pulled over. It's not too hard to figure out. And I'm going to just leave it at that. The man did what he had to do. Should he have put himself in that situation? Absolutely not. But guess what? A lot of times we all put ourselves in situations and then we we think back and it's like, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Why did I do that? It's a domino effect. See, Jay Williams is, is somewhat of a celebrity. Jay Williams is somewhat of a celebrity. Like, do you all realize you probably don't? Almost 400,000 subscribers. A lot of people, a lot of people enjoy listening to Jay Williams stories, following him, following his life. He's gained the trust of you, of me. And several hundred other thousand people that continuously watch and support his page. Like, I can't even fathom my page having 400,000 people. Heck, 50,000 people, <laughs> let alone 400,000. So this man is, is somewhat of a celebrity. Now, follow what I'm saying because I'm correlating this. You know what I mean? To what I just said previously of why he had to run. The man receives a lot of love, as I see in the comments, but I also see a whole lot of hate. So just imagine he's out with his family. He's out with his, you know, his young, his young son, I believe. Oh, it's Jay Williams, man. Yeah, he think he's tough. Let's see how tough he really is. That's Jay Williams, man. I know he got money, man. Let's see what we can get out of him. Oh, that's Jay Williams. See, the thing about street beef, it never really dies. So just because he's been home for nine years, guess what? That doesn't mean that his prior situations is deaded. I got to be able to protect myself. I know that I'm not supposed to you know what I mean? But I got to be able to protect myself. It's an old saying, I said it in my last video. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. So for all the people that's wondering, why did he do that? Why would he allegedly, allegedly, allegedly? Why would he do something like that? It's way deeper then let's live life because life happens, man. It's a whole lot of haters out there. It's a whole lot of haters that don't want to see you doing well. It's a whole lot of haters that, that they were cool with you as long as you was just regular old Jay Williams. But now when you the Jay Williams su successful construction company, let's live life, Jay Williams. And now the old Jay Williams don't hang with us the way that he used to. Don't do the same things that we all used to get together and do because he has a family and he has a lot more to lose now. Guess what? Now they mad at you. Oh, he think he all that. Okay, I'm going to show him. I got something for him. So now he's put in a situation where it's like, I know that I'm not supposed to be indulging or having certain things. But at the same time, they're not playing fair out here, man. They're playing for keeps. And I'm going to do anything that I got to do to protect my family. You feel me? Hopefully you feel me. I'm going to do anything that I got to do to protect my family. People know where I live at. People know who I am. People could be plotting on me. I don't even know these people, but they see my face. Oh, it's Jay Williams over. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to follow him tonight. Yeah, we're going to get him. Yeah.
He's a YouTube. He making all that money on YouTube. Yeah, he got something. Man, people are crazy, man. When people know you got something, when people know you got something and, and, and you, you know, been in them streets, man, they'll kidnap your kids, man. Y'all need 50 bands, 50,000. Otherwise, man, your, your kids going, you're never going to see them again. You better not call the police. Stuff like that happens in the streets, man. So even though you may not be in them streets before, at one point you was in them streets and they know, they know that you, you, you're successful now. So it was kind of like, damn if I do, damn if I don't. Now, the whole situation where people saying that it was a domestic issue and that, it, you know, it was his wife and that's why, you know, the cash app isn't going to his wife and it's going to his friend Woody. I don't know anything about that. You know, I don't I don't I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying I don't know what the particulars are in this case. But if it is his wife and again. I'm not meddling in a man's situation. I'm just trying to enlighten the people that really don't know. Like I said, if you know, you know. I'm not saying anything that you don't already know. But if it is his wife, if they do grant him a bond in the other county, and she is the one that made the alleged complaint, he's not going to be able to go home to his wife. Because there's, some, there's probably some sort of, uh, you know, uh, protection order in place. If it's his wife, I'm not saying that it is, but people in the comments are saying that they've looked it up and, and it's public record and that it's the wife. I don't know. I hope it's not. But if it is, just got to deal with it. He's not going to be able to go to his own house. So I'm sure that he has another residence to, uh, you know, to to bind out to. They're probably going to have him under some sort of sub, uh, supervision. They're probably going to have him under some sort of. Uh, ankle monitor. They're probably going to drug test him, you know, frequently. They're probably, they may even test him for alcohol. I don't know. But there's going to be some strict stipulations and what have you if he's granted bond. Now, he also said that whoever filed a complaint recanted their story came back and say, no, I don't want to, you know, this didn't happen. Well, the prosecution, they're already hip to that in a Commonwealth state. So if that person says, you know, he didn't do this or, you know, I don't want to proceed in this manner. The Commonwealth is just going to pick it up and they'll put you in a predicament and say, OK, well, you came down here and lied and you gave a, a false police report. So either you're going to work with us or we're going to charge you. Obstruction of justice. I don't know what they call it in Virginia, but I'm sure it's a felony. Everything's a felony in the Commonwealth state. So it's going to be a thing to where, you know, when he said, you know, my lawyer said, man, he can spank the gun charge and, and, and you know, make that go away. Hopefully he can because he was never caught with a gun. Possession is nine tenths of the law. You can say all day long what I had. You ain't catching me with it. So what's it going to be? What's it going to be? So hopefully, you know, that's a situation to where if it is his wife, which I'm hoping that it's not, again, you don't want to drag her into the mix. You know what I mean? But she kind of put herself in the mix by filing a complaint or whoever filed a complaint understand this once you file a complaint on somebody in a commonwealth state it's filed signed sealed delivered ain't no going back just understand that for future references and understand that for the people that really don't know the law it's not as simple as, well, you know what? I don't want to press charges anymore. No. Uh-uh. Now, I've seen some people in the comments saying, well, it can't be a federal case because he didn't cross state lines. You don't have to cross state lines. The feds have jurisdiction over any place they want to have jurisdiction over. 
Now, a lot of times, you know, like in Kentucky, man, I'm seeing people catch gun cases, ain't been in trouble in a while, they ain't shooting nobody, they just had the gun on them, and the feds is coming in picking the cases up. They're picking them up. Now, in, in his situation, someone mentioned in my comments that they don't think that the feds will pick this case up, which I hope that they don't, and I understood exactly where he was coming from. Why? Because it's not a slam dunk case. The feds is only going to pick up cases that they know they're going to win. That's why their conviction rate is 99%. You rarely beat the feds. But the feds don't pick up little BS cases, you know, that that are iffy. If the feds get you, they're pretty sure that they got you. Being that they didn't find anything on his persons, in his possessions... Like the guy said, and I wish I could remember his name. I'm going to go back and, and look at it. I like to shout him out. I just can't remember his name. There were so many comments. But he was saying the feds is probably not going to pick his case up. And that's a great thing because, you know, it's a whole different ball game playing with them, playing with them big boys. Paws. Double paws. Feds, big boys. You know what I mean? Football numbers. Big numbers. So, you know, it's just kind of the, the situation, um, me being in the situation that he's in. I can kind of shed light as far as what he's going through right now, what he's thinking right now, how the case is kind of developing. It's going to be a lengthy process, and I'm sure once he gets out, He's going to want this case to go as long as it can possibly go. Because nobody wants to go back to jail, obviously. Like I said, man, I've never met the man a day in my life. Don't really have to meet him. You know, if we meet, you know, it's old saying, man, two mountains will never meet, but two men will. So if I meet him, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? And if I don't, that's cool as well. Because like I said, he inspired me. He's done so much for me. I watch his videos. His videos are very inspirational, as you all already know and see. You all probably watch way more videos than I've watched. I've watched his videos. But then I may go a week or two and not watch one. But he, he, just, he seems like he's a great guy. Just has some things on his plate. But see, he has to he has to understand that there's always going to be pressure in life. He's always going to have things on his plate. And nothing in life is just smooth like that. You're going to just have to figure out a different way to deal with those pressures when they come your way. Because they're, they're going to come your way once again and again and again keep good solid people around you hey in life man you got to cut people off and i'm not telling him anything that he doesn't already know this man's successful you know how hard it is to bring in freaking ten thousand dollars a month twenty fifteen thousand dollars a month which leads me into the next topic that i want to talk about only because people were wondering. I'm only addressing what people were wondering. Where's the money at, Jay? You've been doing this YouTube for a long time. You saying that you relapsed on alcohol. We know roughly what you're making. You're on here asking for money. Where's the money at? Is it just alcohol? Is there more to it? The truth will come out. The truth will come out eventually. But I'm going to take the man for, you know, at his word. He said it was just alcohol. It's just alcohol. And even if it is, you know, something more. Not saying that it is, but even if it is, hey, we all fall short, as I always say. We all fall short, man. You know, sometimes we, we we tend to live above our means. We know we have this coming in, that coming in, so we'll go and get this and get that. And, you know, half the people on this earth, you see people in these 
you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar houses and you think they living so well, man, they got bills. They live in paycheck to paycheck just like the next person. However, however, I have to be objective. I have to be objective. The type of money that he's bringing in, there's really no excuse to not have any money. And I'm not saying he doesn't have any money. Top notch attorney, you know, make 20, 25,000. 30,000, maybe, it ain't a murder charge, it ain't a, you know, I'm just, I'm just estimating, 25, 30,000, should have it easily, buying money, you should have it easily, you shouldn't be in a, a situation to where you like, yo, I need y'all to send that, run it up, run, nah, man, or run it rather, not run it up, but run that to me, that's not how you go about doing things, because people know and I stated this in my other video, so I'm not going to stay on it long. People know that you're already making money. So it just puts questions in people's head. What is he doing with his money? Or is he just trying to get money from us because he doesn't want to spend his own money? You know? You've only been in jail a week. And you're talking about if I don't pay this, I'm going to lose this, I'm going to lose in a week. So it makes people really wonder, like, Damn, Jay, what are you really doing? What are you hiding from us? People genuinely care about this man. I can see it. People genuinely care, but they want answers. They want answers. I don't need answers. I'm only bringing up what the people are saying in my comments. That's it. There's no hate in me whatsoever, man. Hopefully everything works out for, for Jay Williams. Hopefully, like I said earlier, maybe he'll get probation on the, uh, you know, the, the fleeing and evading. You know, it's all you can do is just hope, pray, wish him well, wish his family well, support him as much as you can. Like he said, watch his videos, you know, and, and just be understanding. I know he let a lot of people down. But just understand, man, that he is a human being, man. He's a human being. And another thing, when the police charge you, oftentimes you're overcharged. I'll say that as well. A lot of times they have a tendency to overcharge you. Not trying to, to uh, make any excuses for him, you know what I mean? But sometimes just because they say you did something doesn't mean that you actually did it. Only thing I'm saying is... I wish that Jay, when he did his video, I wish he hadn't done it again. And I wish that he had to show some contrition, sympathy. All the don't say it to my face. The truth of the matter is, man, plenty of people say it to your face, Jay. You know it like I know it. Plenty of people say it to my face just as well. People ain't fighting out here these days. You know what I mean? So plenty of people will say it to your face. Like I said, plenty of people say it to my face. Um, you know, uh, just the the angriness, the 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 tough guy attitude. That's what people were calling it. I don't think it was a tough guy attitude. He's just he's in a different space now. He's not sitting in his truck, you know, doing let's live life. You know, I done seen it. You know, I done lived. He's not, that's not the Jay Williams, you know what I mean, that you've seen the other night. But you still have to remain professional. That's what I tell myself. Always remain professional, no matter what. And I don't always main, remain professional. There are times to where, you know, my prison mentality, I kind of, you know, slide backwards myself. But then I quickly understand now nah, i'm not going back down that road under no circumstances i'm not even taking any chances i'm not taking any chances of going back to prison just not gonna do it people ask me why do i always have my work uniform on which i don't right now but people ask me why do i typically have my work uniform on when i make videos i say because i'm always working 
And I want to show and inspire people. Let them know, man, it don't matter where you work at. Yeah, sure, you love to have the big job making six figures, and yeah, you, but you have to start somewhere. So if you got to work at McDonald's, if you got to work at Burger King, if you got to deliver newspapers, if you have to DoorDash, if you have to Uber, if you have to uh, ride on the back of a garbage truck, guess what? It's better than being in penitentiary because they're going to have you doing all of those things that I just mentioned, but they're going to pay you about 60 cents a day, $1.25 a day. You're going to make about $25, $30 a month doing the exact same thing that you can do out here, cooking the food for the inmates and the guards, cleaning the guards' toilets and the inmates' toilets. You know what I mean? Weed eating, mowing, shoveling snow. All those things that you could do out here, why do them in prison when you can do them out here? That man made something of himself, man. He defied the eye. He made something of himself. Just think about it. He came out of prison with nothing and made something out of his. And you all remember that before you judge him. Understand he didn't came a long, long way. And he just let the pressure of life get to him. But uh, I'm very confident he's going to get back to Jay Williams. Let's live life. You know what I mean? And this is going to be something that I'm sure that he'll fully address once he comes home. And I know he'll be home soon, man. Free Jay Williams. Real Kins TV. Hopefully you liked the video. I know it was a little lengthy. But hey. It's a Friday night, Friday morning. Talk about Jay Williams, you know what I mean? Share the video. Definitely comment on it. That post notification. So anytime I bring you this heat, this action, guess what? You're amongst the first to receive it. And make sure y'all hit that, that uh uh subscribe button. Subscribe to the Chiz Annal. You feel me? Free Jay Williams once again. Salute, man. Salute.